Eh? Not bad for some rattle can. Even did the top. Uh, -wee. Anyway, for my next trick, let me find my glasses. Oh. This time, look at what I got. So I went and picked this guy. Needs a little, needs a little grease. But uh, pretty complete. Just the pans are rusted. The the heater channels are actually solid. And then a little bit of rust right here. But that's literally it. A little rust through on the pan. I may just pull the body and do the pans. Here's what I'm really trying to decide is keep this rad patina, obviously, somehow. But I also would like to cut this out and move it to the front on the other side. And then same thing over here, cut this out, and move it to the back and vice versa. And then uh, do the same thing with the doors, cut this out, move it to the front of the driver's door. And then that way I'll have uh, suicide doors. They want like $432 for the kit. I'm not really feeling that. And I can literally just cut these out and flip them. Uh, that's how it was on my 58, I wanna say. But, I mean, it's real clean. You even got the tow bar. Uh, huh? Not bad for 700 bucks. A little rust down there, obviously, but that's, that's too be. Same thing over here, a little crusty, a little dusty. I'm gonna try and bring that steering wheel back to life with some oil, let that wood swell back up because it's literally moving on the wheel. They're so loose from shrinkage. We know how that is. And then this guy, kind of hard to see, but not a lot of rust back there. It doesn't have pop outs, unfortunately, but I see a bunch of people selling pop-outs, so I'll grab those. Oh, it's got rear defrost, fancy. And then you can apparently, without damaging this VIN plate, pull all this Reba off of here. And it's just like the old school dash. Oh, that's wood. Anyway, under this crap is the, uh, the nice old school looking dash. So I'll pull all that stuff off, clean it up, make it look cool again. Ah, sort out what else. Oh, that's just nothing. Some speaker wire, you know. That one caught fire, it looks like. Fancy. Anyway. Yeah, so the real decision is... Ugh, leave the paint the way it is, or paint it, and what to put in as an engine. A couple of options would be to mount an inline four cylinder Honda and an adapter plate and just bolt it right up, but then it sticks out super far and it won't have that bug look. But I could go, you know, Volks rod and make it into just some kind of wacky machine. It's not like anybody would be mad at me for cutting this thing up, but I, they also want like $1,200 for a fucking barely running motor for these VWs nowadays, which is stupid. So I'm not gonna be doing that. And I've always hated the heat and the defrost on these. So it would probably be beneficial to do like garage idiots and get rid of this transaxle completely, sell it, get a front wheel drive car that has the motor and the transaxle and the drive shafts and then just adapt these drive shafts to those drive shafts or get rid of the swing arms completely again like garage idiots didn't have coilovers from the front suspension of the donor car which wouldn't be bad and then i'd have adjustable coilovers and i could probably make it all fit and still get a deck lid on it so it looks like a bug 
Because that's if I really want to keep it looking like a bug. Again, I could, I could do the hot rod, get rid of the fenders, get rid of the fenders, big, fat, meaty tires, push those tires out further, T-bucket lights, etc. I just, I don't know. Those are probably not going to sell as fast as one would hope because it's so custom. Only one person's going to want it, but a bug is a bug is a bug. And especially if it's got an awesome motor swap, it might be easier to sell. So, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like if you like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, keep on modding. That's a good pig. Yes, it is.